Welcome to the Direct with Hotels Hotelier Extranet. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to create rate plans or promotions. There are three ways by which you can create rate plans or promotions to be offered in the internet booking engine. First is the nightly rates rate plan. This is where you configure promotions with rates quoted on a nightly basis. Second is the fixed nights package. This is where you configure promotions for a defined number of minimum nights and code package rates for the entire stay. This rate plan will allow you to define a limited number of additional nights that guests can book, or you can choose to apply unlimited additional nights if the promo requires you to. Third is the free nights package. This is where you configure promotions with a predefined number of paid nights and free nights. Rates are quoted on a nightly basis, and the applicable free night will be automatically tagged as free by the internet booking engine. For this video tutorial, we will focus on setting up nightly rates promotions or rate plans. Go to the Channel Management tab of the Hotelier Extranet and select Rate Plans from the left navigation. You will be shown a list of rate plans that are configured for your hotel. Click the Add Rate Plan button located in the upper left corner of the Rate Plan section. This will open a wizard that will guide you when creating rate plans or promotions to offer in the Internet Booking Engine. Select Nightly Rate from the list of rate plan types and click Next to proceed to Details tab. Provide general details about the rate plan or promotion, such as rate plan name, meal inclusion, and the number of minimum nights. You may also flag this particular rate plan as special promo by marking the checkbox that says tag a special promo. So we'll go right ahead and configure that. We're going to call this particular rate plan Internet Daily Rates. Meal description is inclusive of buffet breakfast with a minimum number of night requirement equal to 1. So once you're done, Configuring details of the rate plan, click next to go to the Inclusions tab. In the Inclusions tab, you'll be presented with a predefined list of inclusions on the left panel, as well as custom inclusions you've already configured for other rate plans offered for your hotel. Select the ones that you'd like to offer for the new promotion, and if you can't find it on the list, you can always add a new one by clicking on the Add a Custom Inclusion button. This will open a pop-up window where you could input your custom inclusion. So for this instance, we're going to configure free use of health facilities. And as soon as I'm done, I'm going to click OK. And you'll notice that the right panel will automatically display this and select this in the list of custom inclusions. Click Next to go to the Rooms tab where you can select the room types to offer for this new promotion. You can either select all or deselect some of the room types if you don't want to offer it for this rate plan. But you are required to select at least one. So once you're done selecting the rooms, click next to proceed to the next tab where you'll configure validity and rates for the new promotion. Identify your first check-in date and your last check-out date. The first check-in date is the start date of your promotion, while the last check-out date is the date when you'll allow guests to stay at your property using the promotion that you are setting up. By default, the checkbox for 14 months rolling is selected and the last check-out date field is disabled. Having the 14 months rolling selected simply means that the validity for the promotion or rate plan you are setting up doesn't have an end date. However, should the rate plan have an end date, unmark the 14 months rolling checkbox and define the last checkout date. Note that when you configure the last checkout date, you have to take into consideration the minimum night requirement of the rate plan that you've set up in the details tab of the rate plan wizard. So say for example, I want to have this rate plan available until the 31st of March of 2014. But since I have a minimum night requirement of 1, the last checkout date will be set to April 1, 2014. So we're going to go right ahead and configure that and select April 1, 2014 as my last checkout date. 
Next, you have to select the days when guests are allowed to check in. By default, all days are selected. This means that guests can book this promotion regardless of the day when their check-in date falls. For example, you are configuring a weekend promo and the rates offered are valid only if check-in date falls on a Friday or a Saturday, simply unselect all days checkbox and just select Friday and Saturday as your check-in days. In the internet booking engine, this particular promo will not be listed if their check-in day does not fall on either Friday or Saturday. So for this particular rate plan, we're going to select all days. Once you're done selecting the days when guests are allowed to check in, you may now input the rates in the table below. Prior to inputting rates, make sure that you've calculated rates that are inclusive of taxes and surcharges. So for example, rate for room type, say for the Apollo suite, is at 100. And you apply 5% government tax and 10% service charge to your room rates. Then the value you'll input in the rates table is 115. So for Apollo Suite, I'm going to go right ahead and input 115 under Rate for All Days. And you'll notice that the system will automatically populate the column for the days of the week. In some cases, it is sometimes necessary to offer different rates for different days of the week. Say for example, weekday versus weekend rates. So if you have that for your hotel, Simply edit the rates directly under its corresponding day column. So say for example, your rate for Friday and Saturday is less by about $10. So we're going to go right ahead and edit that directly on the table. So we're going to set the rate to 105 for Friday and 105 for Saturday. Now for some of the room types, you may only want to offer them on weekends or on weekdays. So say for example, we're going to edit the rates or configure the rates for this room type and set it just to Mondays to Thursdays. So meaning for weekend stays, this particular room type will not be offered. So we're going to go right ahead and configure rates for that and input rates only for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. In the internet booking engine, this particular room type will not be offered if guests check-in day falls on either Friday, Saturday, or Sunday. For some of the room types, it is sometimes necessary to offer occupancy-based rates. To input occupancy-based rates to the promo, Simply click the occupancy icon to display rows on the table where you can input occupancy-based rates. Input rates accordingly and click next to proceed to the policies tab. So before we do that, let's configure the occupancy-based rates first. So for this, single and double occupancy are the same. And for triple occupancy, the rates will be higher by about more or less $20. Now you can go ahead and configure that for the other room type selected as well. Now that you're done configuring the rates for this particular rate plan, click next to proceed to the policies tab. You'll notice that a confirmation message appears asking if you are sure that rates inputted are inclusive of taxes and surcharges. Click Yes to proceed to the Policies tab or No to return to the Rates tab and reconfigure the rates. So we're going to click Yes to proceed to the next step. The Policies tab is the last part of the Rate Plan Wizard. In this section, you will be asked to configure Child, Payment, Modification, Cancellation, and No-Show Policies. We'll start with the Child Policy. There are three options that you can choose from. Not Allowed, Yes with Charges, and Allowed. When you select Not Allowed, this simply means that the Internet Booking Engine will not ask guests to identify the number of child or children that will stay with them at your property, even if the room type that the guest booked allows children to stay in the room. 
This is applicable for promotions targeted at couples such as honeymoon or romantic getaway packages. Selecting Yes with Charges will require you to define the maximum age of child. So say for example, we'll set that to 12. And the wizard will display a text box where the user can input the charge applicable for children. Note that inputting a value in this field will be posted in the internet booking engine as FYI for the guests. Payment for the child or children will have to be made directly at the property. In the internet booking engine, guests will also be asked to define the number of child or children that will stay with them. But again, the internet booking engine will not be collecting charges for children based on what you configure on this section. This particular description will be displayed only as FYI for the guests. So say for example, it's a fixed amount at $30 per child per night. So what will be displayed in the internet booking engine is that child 12 years and below will be charged $30 per child per night. Now selecting allowed from the option will ask you to define the maximum age of child or children that will be allowed to stay for free. You'll notice in the policy description that it will say children 12 and below can stay in the hotel for free. Maximum number of children allowed to stay for free depends on the room type booked. So the next step is to identify the payment policy applicable for the rate plan. If full charging is not enabled for you, this step is not applicable. However, if full charging is enabled for your property, you will be asked how you want guests to guarantee their reservation if they book this rate plan in the internet booking engine. Selecting the partial payment will require guests to pay a percentage of the total room cost as they confirm their reservation. Selecting 100% full payment will require the guest to pay the total amount of the reservation upfront, and doing so would set the modification, cancellation, and no-show policy to non-refundable, meaning that the guest is not allowed to modify or cancel the reservation, and if in case the guest does not show up at the hotel, the deposit will be forfeited. Now let's go back and select 10% partial payment as the payment policy for this particular rate plan so that I can show you how to configure modification, cancellation, and no-show policy. So we'll go right ahead and define the period when charges will apply. So for modification and cancellation policy, I'm going to select days, two days before the check-in date, and charge applicable will be first night. Note that you have several options that you can impose for charges. You have first night, full charge, 25, 50, and 75%. The same option applies for cancellation and no-show policy. So we're going to go right ahead and configure that. And my no-show policy will be charging the first night of the reservation as well. So as you configure these reservation policies, you'll notice that a description appears towards the right of the window. So it says here, modifications two days before the check-in date or on the check-in date itself will be charged the first night of the reservation. Cancellations two days before the check-in date or on the check-in date itself will be charged the first night of the reservation. And finally, guests who do not arrive within 24 hours of the check-in date and time of the hotel will be charged the first night of the reservation. Now that you're done configuring the new promotion, you may review details of the rate plan you've just created. You'll notice that on the right panel, details of the rate plan you've just configured are displayed as you configure each section. So as you review, and if you want to go back to previous tabs to correct entries, simply click the back button until you reach the section you desire. If all details have been reviewed and validated to be correct, click the finish button to save the rate plan and return to the list where you'll see the newest promotion posted, along with its start date and end date and its corresponding rate plan type.
you'll notice that as soon as the rate plan is saved, the system will invite you to apply booking conditions to the rate plan that was just created. However, this particular functionality of the Hotelier Extranet will be discussed in another video tutorial. So we're going to skip and continue that later. So just to check if the rate plan configured appears correctly on the internet booking engine, click on the rate plan name to display its edit panel. Go to Rooms and Rates tab and click View Internet Booking Engine and start selecting the days for check-in. So we've configured the start date of this rate plan to be April 1st all the way to April 1st, 2014. So minimum night requirement of 1. So I'm going to select any check-in date for one night and I can go ahead and view rooms and prices for this particular rate plan. So you'll see here I have my internet daily rates and if you click details, you'll get to see details of the promotion that you just created. You'll get to see what meal is included for the rate plan and what inclusions are offered for the rate plan. If you click policies, you'll get to see the different policies configured for the hotel. You'll see here the child policy, modification, cancellation, and no-show policies. You'll also notice the rate here that we configured for each of the room types. So you'll notice there are accommodation-based rates, such as the Apollo Suite. You'll notice occupancy-based rates, such as the next room category, and so on and so forth. So now that you're done checking the rates, whether they are appearing correctly in the internet booking engine, you may now close this window. Now, should you need to refresh your knowledge on how to configure rate plans, feel free to view this video at any time. You may also refer to the context-sensitive help content of the Hotelier Extranet by clicking on the question mark icon located in the upper right corner of every section or pop-up window that requires your action. You may also refer to the account management help section where you'll see a consolidated help content of the Hotelier Extranet. Now, should you need further assistance, you may always go back to the Dashboard Quick Link section and click Contact Direct with Hotels. This will open a pop-up window where you can state your concern. Clicking the Send button will send an email to the Direct with Hotels support team who will get in touch with you immediately.